Okay, moving on to my daughter's room. As you can see, this wall is a mess. Um, it's been this color since she was a very little girl and she was very active. So these scuffs are from my putty knife. And so what I'm working on is getting these glow in the dark stars and comets and uh, different things that I put all over her wall. Of course, she's outgrown this style. And plus we gotta get the wall painted. So I'm just scraping these off with this putty knife. The putty knife is making it so much easier. But I had it all along, so this is where I've worked at. And then I also cleared off that wall and I cleared off all around her TV and desk area. I had stars on the door, I got those off and right there. So most of it's done. I'm just gonna finish up this corner and finish up this section. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking, putting stickers like this, glow in the darks, little stars on my daughter's wall. She was really into the um, like galaxy type decor. So she liked the stars and everything, And but I would never do this again. Now, for those who like to do this, please, you know, don't be offended, but no, this was this was just a lot of work. It ruined the paint job because of the scuffs from the putty knife. Those stickers stuck on there <laughs> very, very firmly. I mean, they weren't going anywhere. So yeah, I had to use that putty knife. I got these from Amazon, these stickers. And it was like probably over 200. And maybe I'm exaggerating, but it was a lot of stickers. And I put them over the whole wall. It looked nice. They're glow-in-the-dark stickers, like when you turn the lights off. <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks very nice in the room, but no. Uh, she <laughs> She's outgrown it now, and so, yeah, I'm gladly parting with these. I'll never do this again. I can't say it enough. I'm so glad <laughs> that I had this putty knife because in the beginning, before I used the putty knife, I was trying to lift these stickers off with my fingernails and they were so firmly on there. Like the stickers were getting under my nails and my under my nails was starting to get sore. So there was just no way I could have done this without that putty knife. I love that tool. I really thank God though through this process of you know getting the house ready for sale to be uh, sold and for open house and all of that um, it's just it's just been a you know a very rewarding experience to seeing all the things that I've been able to do and accomplish um, and just really uh, thankful so thankful to God that he you know guided me through this whole process and so I just see nothing but good things ahead through this. So I'm just truly thankful. Just taking things one day at a time, one step at a time.
all right thankfully i'm done with the stars getting all that down so now i'm going to declutter and organize my daughter's room that was i don't know what gunk she had in that purple tray it was some kind of orange slime that she added things to it my daughter's always <laughs> she's got to see what how far she can go with certain things but anyway yeah i got to figure out how to clean that up but yeah so i'm gonna go through and just get rid of some things in here that she can no longer wear just basically do the same thing that i did in the hall linen closet the kitchen pantry just go through all of this stuff because when we move i don't want to carry anything that we don't need to be packing and moving so if it's time to let things go that's what i intend to do so yeah i'm just going to go through this process and declutter and reorganize So in this storage container, I kept her bowls and beads and things. So I'm just kind of going through that just to see if I even need any of that and um, just cleaning out what I don't need so I can start storing, you know, different things. Okay, so I'm gonna try to pack up her sleeping bag. It was not in the carrier case that it came with. So I'm gonna try to get it rolled up very tightly and firmly and just neatly get it stored back in its little tote that it came with. Okay, I was able to put that back up and I'm gonna store her luggage bag right next to that. Okay, now I'm getting down to the bottom of the closet and just getting out like her uh, cork board there. I um, think I'm gonna part with that, trying to decide on that and just going through some of her shoes, trying to get those organized and donate any shoes that she can no longer wear. So just going through all of that right now. If you're new to this channel, I hope you consider subscribing. Um, I'm a single mom of two beautiful girls um, working towards um, getting my home sold so we can move and um, doing a lot of DIYs. I enjoy doing DIYs. I enjoy doing cleaning motivations, uh, reorganizing, decluttering, uh, just trying to tackle things and see how much I can do on my own. Um, but yeah, I just hope that this channel is motivational to to others. And yeah, so I hope you consider subscribing and um, thank you again for joining me and for watching.
All right, so this is the after the floor. You can see the floor in here. <laughs> There's just a couple shoes. There's some skates, a pair of boots, her slippers, and her uh, dirty clothes hamper. I have a little storage thing for some of her bags um, and some shoes that, you know, couldn't fit here in her shoe hanger. I got out the shoes that she no longer can fit. I also keep um, tights and things like that in this uh, sorter. And to save space, like flip-flops, I combine them in one. Also, uh, these are some shoes that she uh, has outgrown. I'm gonna donate those and some old shoe boxes that I'm gonna throw away. Some extra items that she just does not need that I'm gonna donate. Also, this uh, bulletin board. I'm gonna see if I can find another place to hang that. I like it, I love the frame on it. But if I can't, I will just donate it. So, oh, and trash, which I showed you in the end. This is the bag full of trash of things in the closet, old hair bows, items like that. And um, those stars that I pulled out of the, um, pulled off the wall. All right, so her clothes are pretty much already okay here. I had to organize the top. I got rid of, I don't think I got rid of anything up here. Oh, one storage basket. But her homeschool laptop is there. Um, her organizers for her hair bows and things are here. I don't have anything in there, but I think I can use that for something. So I'm just holding on to it for a little bit since she has extra space in here. Her sleeping bag, it was a mess. It was out in the open. I was able to fold it up and put it back in its container. I was so glad I kept that. This is extra backpack she had from summer camp and this is her luggage. So um, yeah, this is looking so much better now. So I'm glad that her closet is organized and clean. Thanks for watching.